No, you sit there. Hey guys, I'm just at this restaurant called Kiss and I've ordered a spaghetti bolognese and uh, a Diet Coke. And uh, at the end, I'll, uh, I'll put up how much I paid for this. So I'd be very interested to know how much you pay in your country where you live. I know how much something like this costs in Australia, but if you're not from Australia, if you're from the US, the UK or somewhere else, uh, put in the comments how much a meal like this would cost. And at the end of the video, I'll tell you how much I paid. Okay, guys, that was 197 Thai bar for that. So I'll put that on the screen and put the conversion back to Aussie dollars. And if you're not from Australia, you can do your own conversion. But it was a good meal. It was nice. Just hoping the last time I said that is uh, I got that food poisoning. So let's hope I don't get the food poisoning from that. But yeah, it seemed really good. All right, so New Year's Eve. So back to the condo for my last swim of the year, I think. Might as well get a swim in. So on the way back to the condo, I need to pick up some more supplies again. So stopping off at the trusty 7-Eleven. I'll grab a few things. So it's always good to stop in at 7-Eleven because you know it's going to be nice and air conditioned. Uh, there's plenty of chairs from in here. So I'll just give you a quick look around. Got all your sort of pre-packaged meals there. Most of those are noodles and things where you just put hot water in. These are like sandwiches, ham and cheese sandwiches or even hamburgers so you can make your own. The idea is to put them in an oven or put them in a sandwich maker. And you've got all the sort of dairy products, milk products. There. Get a couple of the mixed uh, fruit yogurts. They're good. Good for the stomach. So the other thing that I've been getting are these uh, black currant sort of half jelly, half juice. Just walking back to the condo and one of the big buildings on the way is called the Copacabana and I met a guy an Australian guy a couple of days ago who's actually rented one of the condos right up near the very top and he showed me a couple of photos of it and he said that uh, he's happy for me to go in and video the condo so we can check out what sort of facilities are in it and also the view from up there. So before I leave, jumped in over here and head back home, which is in less than two weeks, I'll be uh, doing a video from the Copacabana. So that's the building over there. I'll try to hold this still and zoom in a little bit. right up near the top you'll be able to get a video from the inside and also get out on the balcony and have a look at your views so that should be interesting so stay tuned for that one I'm not sure when I'll do that but some stage 
So where I'm from back in Melbourne, I see quite a few kids as they're walking home from places like McDonald's and they'll just drop a wrapper or drop a drink container or something and not worry about it because they think that's oh, only one. Doesn't make a difference. This is what happens over time. Just one person does a bit, then the next person, then the next person. So by the time those kids have their own kids, that's what it might look like. Not good. 